The recent revelation by the Minister of Education, Professor Terhu Maman, on the high rate of certificate racket sharing, even from foreign institutions, has raised concerns on the impact it has on the nation. Galaxy's TV correspondent gives more details in this report. The Minister of Education, Professor Tahir Maman, has disclosed that over 22,500 Nigerians are parading fake certificates obtained from Benin Republic and Togo between 2019 and 2023. This revelation has drawn in a lot of reactions and concerns from Nigerians on the retrogressive implication of certificate racketeering on the nation. In Nigeria here, we place too much emphasis on certification all right but the issue is this not only not only in Benin republic not only in Benin republic we have seen people even having fake certificates here in nigeria the, we need to look critically at our system what is making our children or our people to go abroad or to look outside Nigeria in search of education. Those who are going to Togo are those who cannot go to UK, who cannot go to America and all those other uh, expensive countries. So because everybody wants university education, they decide to go there. And we have a system before where the Minister of Education ev evaluate those certificates. I'm not, I don't know whether that uh, the decision the, uh, the ministry has taken is based on that, that maybe they've seen that most of the products of those uh, universities uh, are not up to par. People are more desperate to access education, which reduce the access to education. Uh, you know, people become very desperate in a population of Oh, 200 million and uh, perhaps uh, going to 100 million or over 100 million young people and our universities and polytechnics and colleges of education have the capacity to take only very few number uh, and in a society where certificate is so highly um, rated I, I do not want to say overrated uh, you know people become very desperate and so it becomes easy for those who want to capitalize on this desperation to uh, extort people, to uh, get them to, to, to do all sort of desperate things, including these uh, certificate racket. The federal government also approved the dismissal of workers in the public and private sectors with fake degree certificates, stating that their actions dent a negative image on the nation. Many people do not even know which universities are illegitimate. Uh, you know, there is not enough uh, uh, work done to publicize which universities are illegal and, and all of that. And I think that the commission or the agency are really, um, with, with duty regarding that has to do more. The Nigeria University Commission has to do more to publicize uh, which institutions are not accredited, uh, which uh, foreign certificates are not recognized. Uh, and I think, uh, of course, more also has to be done to, to uh, cleanse our university, our high institutions of corrupt practices. They should be withdrawn from service. Two, if those certificates are found to be forgery, there's a difference between if they forged it or they obtain it in a wrong manner. Forging means that maybe they paid some people and all that. And then the other one is uh, the university itself should be blacklisted. And anybody coming from such places should never be employed or given anything to do with, in Nigeria. Nenwarangil Mazaka. Galaxy TV News, Lagos.